time for another Transformers review. Yeah! Alrighty, so we are here. It is a wonderful Sunday morning here in the Philippines. We have our new Transformer that just came in a few days ago in the mail. Uh, we're continuing our third party Transformers review. We have something from Jinbao. So this is the Jinbao Six Shot 2002 version. This is a Voyager class figure. So take note, it's Voyager class. It's not Legend Scale. And it's something very interesting because lately we've been seeing a lot of third party companies, uh, you know, shell out a lot of different Legend size figures. So this is the first time we're seeing a Voyager class figure. So let's get this thing open. But before that, let's admire that wonderful box art right there. Don't know who drew that, but again, most probably they borrowed that from someone. Really awesome box art. Here's the product shots of the thing. If you notice, it's very reminiscent to uh, the MFT one. I, I forgot somebody from our group mentioned that this is not the upscaled version of the MFT or the Iron Factory one. This may have been um, an upscaled version of a different brand. If you know the brand, you can put the the information down in the in the comment section below. We'd appreciate that. But I really think that it looks great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the product. See what's in the packaging. Put them up. Throw the box. We don't need the box. Boxes are not needed. Waste of space. There you go. We got a very... Yeah. It's not really that amazing looking. Oh, there you go. Just one piece of magazine style. It's instruction booklet. Comes in a clamshell right there. Throw that too. We don't need that. And whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? Yeah, okay, as I expected, it feels light to the touch. Okay, so we already mentioned that this is not an upscaled version of the MFT, but damn, that looks pretty much like the face sculpt from Iron Factory right there. I may be wrong again, so you can put, put the information down in the chat box or in the comment section below. That looks really nice. love the plastic color. The green pops, the violet right there, the purple looks great too. Uh, I think that's for the the legs for the, I mean the foot for the for the wolf. But I don't really feel the very blocky toes right there. We have two swords because he's a he's a ninja. There you go, ninja, ninjutsu. There you go, really nice swords. Reminds me of the uh, sword from, what's that, uh, Transformer? The one that was a rally car from uh, Hasbro. Ooh, wow, that, that looks great. So there are ankle tilts, very modern design has ankle tilts right there. And really like it. And then you got two guns. Probably can squeeze it here. Yep, we could. There you go. And then let's, uh, it doesn't stand. Let's just throw that away. Oh, yep. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. So, if I remember, like, most six shots would have, like, a heel spur that would pop out right here. So, you could have him stand because he's back heavy. But this one does not have. Let's see if he heals forward or backward with that. No. He looks good. He looks good. So, light to the touch. Kind of, I wouldn't say it's like cheap plastic, but it's not hefty. I mean, when I got this, remember the uh, legend size Skyfire or Jetfire? This is a lot heavier. More heft to it. This is light. Anywho, so let's check out, so aside from that articulation, whoa, that is surprisingly loud. You got some ratchets on this thing. Nice clickety-clackety ratchets. You got some thigh swivel right there. Can bend all the way to that point. Awesome. Can go and do the Chuck Norris splits right there. 
There we go. Pretty articulated toy. Very poseable. I can, I can just really imagine it now. Uh, there are no ratchets for the arm section. Oh! I take that back. It's ratcheted. Don't you just love the sound of clickety clackety ratchets? Wow. That is a tight ratchet right there. Ah, and I believe maybe you can, because I just noticed there are pegs down here. You could you could probably do this. Yep, yep, you could. You know, just like put that like a samurai right there. This is this is really cool. I'm starting to like it. Uh, mind you, I, the only thing that I'm just really not happy about it is, you know, the feeling that it's light to the touch. It's possible because it's super hollow. Not super duper hollow. There are hollow sections right here. You can just really see that right off the bat. But, you know, it's, it's not a biggie because Hasbro has been doing a lot of hollow Transformers lately. So that's, that's just something. So let's have a quick size comparison. So we all know that Six Shot... If, if you've been watching the Japanese G1, like, before, or, you know, you're into it now, we know that Six Shot transformed, you know, uses Shadow Clone Jutsu to kill Ultra Magnus, <laughs> turned to six Transformers, and used all his modes to kill Ultra Magnus. So, let's take a look at PPT-01 Ultra Magnus, and let's try to remove the dirt... He's a lot bigger. I would say he's a lot bigger, definitely, because this is like advertised as Voyager class, but this is Legends class. Again, let's try to get rid of some of the dust first. Get out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're not far off. Maybe just maybe a couple of inches taller. And I really think maybe they should be the same level so that's that and let's bring this brings out a lot of memories because this was i believe this was my first ever reviewed toy if I'm, if i'm not mistaken i'll go ahead and check back in the gallery or in the video list but i believe this was my first ever reviewed transformer so this is mft six shot and brings back a lot of memories so if we compare this to the current Jinbao Six Shot, it's it's of course a lot smaller because this is Legends class, and I take that back. The face is very different. This is probably a new mold, or they could they could have copied it from somewhere, but very very different. So I, I think it was Doug who mentioned that it's like one of our members in the group who said that this is not an mft oversized figure so shout out to you bro uh magnus nutrivad i forgot maybe that was his call sign his name um there you go you were correct it's it's not an oversized mft figure awesome work and let's put that set that aside we saw this earlier we did a comparison and again, this is Voyager class. This is Legends class. So whoever made the uh, Skyfire, you know, the TNT guys, did an awesome job. They could just go and make more, uh, what do you call this, Voyager class figures, if I'm, you know, to ask. And it scales really well. So that's pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at the one that he should be measuring up to so we have right here siege ultra magnus and i like that scale i like that i believe that ultra magnus is bigger and bulkier six shot though he is a six man six army robot he's a ninja he's supposed to be a little more on the sleeker thinner kind of side and I, be, I believe that you know that's that's his advantage that's why he killed ultra magnus you know he's a he has six modes and he was a uh, faster quicker transformer and they look great they look fantastic together this is the six shot i was looking for my titans return six shot which definitely was scaling around yay high 
I was not able to find the Titans Return. I hope that it was not part of the things that I lost during the flood, but I think it's not. It's somewhere there in the black boxes of storage. <laughs> Anywho, so we have that again. Ooh, do we have light piping on that thing? No, 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 we don't have light piping. That's just a reflective paint right there. Although it would have been fantastic if we had light piping. Uh, let's check out the head. Yep, the head of the wolf does not have light piping too. That's just a reflective metallic paint. Overall, I'm starting to like it. You know, it's starting to grow on me really good. But again, very, very light. So we're going to take a quick pause. Transform six shot, Jin Bao six shot into his modes. We'll be right back. Folks, we're back and we have our Jin Bao Voyager class six shot in his robot mode. And I'm just going to tell you that this is really fun. I was like playing with it and trying to transform it. And it's, it's extremely playable. A lot of playability factor right here. A lot of posability going on too. So let's get him transformed. First thing we want to do is of course take out all of the kibble. Remove the weapons. And let's get started to transform this guy right here. Uh, let's try to put him in a very straight position. There you go. So the thing you want to do is open the chest. And that's one of the props. If you pull it out all the way, it comes off. So that's one of the things that I noticed. It just gets into that angle that's it you can't really just bring it down all the way um of course fold the head in and that's the first step the next thing you want to do is you take a look at the hands the hands they have sliders so just make sure that they're angled right and positioned so that you can push it in like so do the same thing with the other side and push that in now we know that this is a six transforming robot six modes first mode is a robot mode we got five modes to go and let's get that going let's go with the car mode open this panel right here open this panel right here fold it like so and then just try to angle that easier and then just fold it like so next thing you want to do of course is get that section all closed up and you can then bring this two together. Just try to. There are grooves right there that would peg in. I'm just trying to find that. It's a little hard not to see it, but there you go. Now, what you want to do next is fold the chest wings or this tail fins. And you want to bring this whole wheel section down like that. Now, the arms, or the arms are actually double-jointed, that once you angle it like that, you can then lock it here. There's a hole here. And then just try to angle that there. And then what I do is just, just really try to angle it straight where the wheels align. Same thing here. Put that there. Angle it. And with most of the, what do you call this, six shots that we came to play around with, if I'm not mistaken, the wings would be like this. And that's technically the car. Kind of. And that's, that's the car mode right there. But in the instruction, they'd like to put the guns here and the blades like so and technically that's the official transformation based on the manual so it rolls pretty well I like that I'm just not a big fan of having this up here it looks more like a, a, a version of the tank and the car so I, I really kind of like it this way right put these things here like that and then you can just put the weapons here 
So it's a lot more wider looking if you take a look at that. But again, it's it's your toy. You know, just play around with it. You know, do whatever you want to. You know, like with that. But one of the fun things is that it rolls. So let's hop on to our next transformation, which is going to be the jet mode. The jet mode just really is pretty much an upside down version of the car mode. You just flip this section right here, making it the nose cone. And what you want to do now is just bring the wings like that and rotate this. And as you rotate that, you want, it says that you want to have the wheels facing up. So you put that there, get the tail fins up in that section right there. And the next thing you want to do is that you see that there is this peg right there and there's a hole so you can then lock this two in place and that's going to lock as well here. And once you have that, angle this section like that, kind of serves like a booster. There you go. And this is technically the jet. That's it. That's the jet mode. I don't like that there's no cockpit or like a... What do you call this? A, like a... I'm looking for the word. Like a canopy for the jet to look like there is really a jet mode. It's pretty forced, if you ask me. Um, in... The instruction you can put the weapons here so there's that little peg and there's a slot right here you could do that there you go and they they want you to put the the sword somewhere around, along the arms but I, i'm not a big fan of that so i just put it together with the weapon so it looks kind of like that that's the jet mode right there. I like it, but again, it's two fours. Um, next, let's get rid of these things and fold this. So we're gonna go for the beast mode or the wolf mode. We're gonna fold the nose cone here, open this panel right here, bring this section out once more, bring this section out again and fold it and as you fold it you could see that there's that hole right there and there's this locking pin which locks it in place so technically we're going to go and transform this back into almost halfway through the robot mode so as you have it this way okay you can bend this whole section down which was pretty fun. I thought that you know there was like some sort of double joint here for the knee, but no, it was the whole thigh area or like the whole shin area. Um, once you have that, of course, you can bring this whole section here. Love that ratchet sound again. And angle the arms, and then bring out the claws. Same goes here. Bring out, bring out the claws over here. And the next thing you want to do, of course, is pop out the head. Now, the cool thing with this is that once you have it this way, you can see that the head actually is very high, and it's on top of the, like, the shoulder area. Another thing is it can droop down. So it really gives you that sense of, like, animal behavior where, where the wolf can stalk or skulk and it's very poseable so really awesome thing right there you could you could give it like a little zoidish movement like give it like a stalking mode now based on the instruction you want to put the guns here put the guns here and put the web put the swords inside that wing section and technically that's the wolf mode right there one of my favorite modes the best mode for me that is it's uh it's this wolf mode right here and of course unofficially 
there would really be that winged wolf mode. You know, the winged beast. You just really have to pop that out and, you know, ta-da, you got a winged wolf. There you go. Not an official mode, but again, it's fun to play with. And let's go be with the uh, sixth mode, or not sixth mode, but the, the fourth mode, which is the tank. Bring this section up, bring the head again, pull that right there, and this is the thing. You want to rotate the arms and then lock that thing back here. Same goes with this. Rotate this, lock that again through that peg, and then as you do that, you can then bring out these treads. Fold that, unfold that, and as you unfold that, you can then angle it once more. Angle this thing once more. There you go. Bring the whole tread track down, and then you want to level the wheels, kind of like a like a very forward-looking piece right there. And then you bring these two pieces together once more. And as you do that, just try to flip it up. There you go. But for some reason, it can only go that far. It can't go enough. What you want to do now is bring out these cannon pieces. There you go. And I'm just really scared I might break it. And you take these things right here. I don't want to break that, but I think you could. Nah. That's pretty much it. That's that's just really how it goes. You don't want to force it too much. But that's technically the tank mode, which I believe is the weakest mode for this toy. I really think it's, it's not the strongest mode there is. Or you could actually rotate this, and I guess you could do that. Yeah, that, that works. That works. I think that's really the, the right way to do it. You could do it this way. There we go. I think that works. Yeah. Sorry about that. That, that was definitely the right mode right there. I'm trying to angle that. There we have it. Try to angle this. Oh, it's going to come loose. But anyway, that's it. That's your tank mode. You might want to put the swords over here. Yep, there you go. That's the tank mode. Weakest mode for me. Uh, let's go with that six mode. So bring the section like that. Bring this like here. And... The more, the most force mode out there. You could you could put this like that if you want to, but that's pretty much the gun mode right there. That's the gun mode. So we've seen all six modes. Let's get this going right here. Now this is has got to be one of the most playable things because so much different modes you can come up with your own little mode you know go let your imagination go wild you know um try to bring out the fist and i guess this is my favorite make shift mode it's like a fan mode would be try to fold that would be the werewolf mode <laughs> There you go. That is. Oh, let me try to bring up the camera right there. That's the werewolf mode right there. Look at that. It's a dog man. There you go. Michigan dog man. Love it. I mean, I mean, I love. I, I, it's one of my favorite mythical creatures, or like horror monsters, werewolves, dog men, whatever you want to call them. But 
that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome right there. I'm gonna keep him, probably keep him in that mode when I'm done playing with him because he he looks like a weird wolf. You know, the weird wolf from from the Armada. I mean Armada, uh, Headmaster. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. But let's flip him back and bring out the head. Lock that head in place. Bring the wings up and give him his oh jiminy christmas <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> there you go hooray we have him back in his robot mode yes there you go awesome looking six shot so final final say and a few more let's bring the counterpart, the things that we have, uh, what do you call this, to the size comparison, let's bring all the size comparisons right there, let's put, let's put Optimus right there, because I have Jinbao Optimus, Jinbao, Jinbao, so two different Jinbaos right there, and yeah, I would I would definitely rate this as a wonderful eight. It's not perfect, possibly even uh, just maybe a seven point five to an eight because one of the key things that you know makes it really wonderful is the playability. Love the ratchet, love the face sculpt. The colors are okay. The colors are more reminiscent to the toy version rather than the animated version or the G1 version. Uh, the weapons are a plus. I love that there are many, you know, accessories involved. But the drawback is that it's light to the feel. I mean, it's it's not bad plastic. It's just really light. The plastic is sturdy. The plastic doesn't feel cheap, but it's light to the feel. So. I guess that's just really my take on that, but overall I would still recommend Jinbao Voyager Class Six Shot to a fan of Six Shot, to anyone who likes uh, third party uh, Transformers, something to pair with your PPT Ultra Magnus, or maybe to, you know, battle Siege Ultra Magnus right there. So far it is something that, you know, brings that play factor with your collection and it's a very recommended thing but that's pretty much it for us folks if you have not yet subscribed please click on that subscription button hit on that like button hit on the bell notification thank you thank you thank you for all those folks that have been continuously subscribing and continued uh you know supporting our small channel we got a lot of more uh third party transformers coming our way uh we are definitely uh, going to review a lot of these Transformers really, really soon. So again, that's enough time for us, folks. Thank you again for watching, and remember, all are one. Peace out. Rock and roll.